Welcome to a very special episode of the Vegan Test Kitchen. Today, we are making the vegan egg. Let's get started. Now, you might be thinking, eggs? Vegans don't eat eggs. And you would be correct. That's why we're using molecular gastronomy. That's right, we're using science today. Here's what you're gonna need. For the egg whites, you're going to need unsweetened coconut milk, silken tofu, extra firm, potato starch, sweet white rice flour, and the special ingredient, black truffle salt. And for the egg yolk, you're gonna need water and the veg. Now, if you haven't heard of the veg, it is a really awesome yolk flavored powder that you mix with water, gives you the consistency of yolk, and besides all of that stuff, you're gonna need one very special ingredient. If you wanna make yolk look like yolk, you're gonna need calcium chloride. Now, this is the stuff that they use for wine and beer and some other food products. It helps to create a film on the yolk that we're gonna be able to contain the liquid into. It's gonna be pretty awesome. It's actually called spherification. We're getting all sciencey today, I told you so. It takes a little bit of practice, but it's fun. So you wanna grab your veg, your water, a blender, and blend it up real good. It smells wonderfully yolky. Now that we have our beautiful yolk, we're gonna set this to the side, and we're gonna start on our calcium chloride solution. We're gonna get pretty technical with the amount of calcium chloride we're using, and you should too. What we want to measure out is five grams of calcium chloride. Now you want to get 500 milliliters of room temperature water. We're going to throw in our calcium chloride and we're going to mix it until it dissolves. Now here is the fun and tricky part. It's going to take a little bit of practice. Don't get frustrated. So what you want to do is get a glass that has a diameter that is a little bit tapered has kind of a flat bottom. You're gonna put a bit of the calcium chloride solution in here, swirl it around, make sure it gets on some of the sides, and then you're gonna dump it out. Now, we're gonna pour in about a tablespoon's worth of yolk, and we're gonna very carefully put a little bit of calcium chloride down the sides. You're gonna swirl gently. It's not moving as much as you want. You wanna put in a little bit more you want to do this for a good 30 seconds to a minute because you really want that film to form. Gently pour some water into the glass and slide the yolk into your hand. And then you'll be able to place it into this bowl of water. And you also want to be very careful when you dump it out because it's very easy to break it. Now I'm going to try this different shaped glass. In the end, as you can see, it takes a lot of practice, but I believe that this cup works the best. Now we're gonna set our bowl of yolks off to the side and start on our egg whites. Get your blender ready, and in that, we're gonna mix our coconut milk, potato starch, sweet white rice flour, our truffle salt, and a block of silken tofu extra firm. Now our egg whites are gonna be this nice, creamy, smooth texture. And it's very important that you use truffle salt because you can smell that umami, earthy kind of flavor which gives the eggs that slight eggy flavor. And that is one of the key ingredients to making this taste good. You're gonna get an omelet pan or just a really great non-stick pan. Make sure you preheat it. And I'm gonna throw some butter in there because I feel like when you have a fried egg, you gotta have some butter. That's what we're doing. So you can do this one of two ways. You can either make a sunny side up egg or you can make a over easy or over medium egg. Now we are gonna do that, which is why you should hang on to your uglier yolks because we're gonna, we're gonna sneak it in there. Okay, now that we are heated up, we're going to take a spoonful and maybe a half. And you're gonna help it along a little bit, shape it how you want. And then you're gonna wanna cook this for about three to four minutes, just until it's lightly browned around the side. 
And then you want to flip. Of course, be very careful because it's really easy to break. And you want to cook this for another two minutes or so. All right, I think we're good on that. And then you're going to want to pick out the prettiest yolk because we're going to stick it right on top. Let's try an over easy. So it ain't super pretty, but uh, it, it works. So I'm gonna cook up the rest of these eggs and uh, if you want, you can keep whatever yolks you haven't used. Just throw them in the fridge, wrap them up. You can reuse them the next day. Same with the egg white. So have fun, make a bunch of eggs. Thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, hit a thumbs up. I would love you for it. Make sure to subscribe and share and comment and all that good stuff. I will see you all next time.